My name is Becky. I'm part of the Brightline Eating Social Media team. So our goal here today is to talk about, very exciting, salads. <laughs> uh, we get a lot of questions. The Brightline Eating uh, team gets a lot of questions in the Brightline Eating official Facebook group about uh, people needing ideas for recipes, ideas for meals. So that is what we are here for. And if you search on Instagram or Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, hashtag Brightline Bites, you'll find all sorts of great recipe ideas and meal ideas, beautiful plates, beautiful breakfast bowls. So definitely check that out. That's why we named this video series that because our community was already using that hashtag. As I said, we get a lot of questions about recipes, meal ideas, etc., And especially about salads, which seems like a simple thing, but it's not so simple and it throws a lot of people off. So today we are talking all about how to build a bright line salad. And I'm so excited that you're here with me to talk about this. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the weight loss dinner salad. So on the weight loss plan, you have uh, eight ounces of salad on the weight loss dinner plan. And the first mistake that a lot of people make is they assume salad is lettuce, period. Nothing else, just eight ounces of lettuce. Eight ounces of lettuce is a lot of lettuce. And at first, a lot of people are like, I can't choke down eight ounces of lettuce every night. I can't do it. You don't have to do it. <laughs> eight ounces of salad does not mean eight ounces of lettuce. Typically, and this is in the book, it's in the Bright Line Eating book, Susan says, typically the lettuce will take up maybe two to four ounces, depending on how heavy the lettuce that you choose is. So let me show you what I have here today. I have a whole bunch of lettuce, whole bunch of lettuce. What I'm using today is romaine. So this is going to be a little bit heavier. You can use spring mix or any other kind of kind of lettuce really, but spring mix is very popular and that tends to be a lot lighter. Um, so you might only use two ounces of spring mix because that's still gonna be a mound of spring mix. We're using romaine today. So in a weight loss dinner salad of eight ounces, I usually end up with about, usually about three and a half to four ounces of romaine in my salad. I have a whole bunch of other veggies here. I have on my cutting board here some carrots that I've chopped up, some red bell pepper. I have some cucumber that I've diced up. So in your dinner salad, whoops, I lost a pepper. You can have um, really any vegetables. I was asking our Bright Line Eating team what some of their favorite ways to make salads exciting were. And uh, one of our team members said jicama. If you've never had jicama, it's a vegetable that is, I believe it's considered a starchy vegetable. Um, it's sort of similar in consistency to an apple, but it has a very mild flavor, kind of like a potato. So I know that sounds a little weird, but trust me on this. Um, if you cut it up and it, like dice it up into a salad, she said it's really juicy and crisp and crunchy and very nice in a salad. So that's a great idea. Um, I have some corn here. I have some cherry tomatoes or kind of a variety of little small tomatoes. What else do I have? I have some other topping stuff that we'll get into later. Um, but I'm going to build a salad right now, a weight loss eight ounce salad with just those veggies. So you can see what it looks like. Turn on my scale here. I'll move it back a little so you can see it. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with some lettuce. So I have a pretty decent sized bowl here and you can see that's, that's three and a half ounces of lettuce. So that's not too bad. Now, just top that off until you have eight ounces. I'm gonna throw in some bell pepper. Oh, that's a little heavy. I want some other veggies in here. So a little bit of carrot, some cucumber chunks, 
And I do occasionally like to put some corn on my salad. Corn is considered a starchier vegetable, so you don't want to eat a lot of corn. But if I put 0.6 ounces of corn, actually, you know what? I'll just put a little tiny bit of corn. I'll add a little more cucumber. Throw a little bit of corn on there. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> I love the digital scale. This is the OXO scale I'm using, by the way. So that's eight ounces. That's eight ounces right there. So as I was saying, corn is a starchier vegetable. You don't want to eat that all the time, but in moderation is going to usually be okay. Whether or not and how much of the starchier vegetables you include in your plan is going to depend on your, your rate of weight loss. So if you're losing slowly, you might want to skip the starchier vegetables, which as you can see, that corn is totally not, you know, it's just a little tiny bit of it in here. So if you didn't want that corn in there, by all means, you don't have to have that corn in there. This is just the kind of vegetables that I like in a salad. You can put whatever you like in here. You can try jicama, uh, mushrooms, onion, um, celery, celery as well, any kind of veggies you can throw in there. And this is going to be your side salad at dinner alongside your protein, your um six ounces of vegetables. And then let's talk about uh, fat as well. So at dinner, you get one fat portion. Um, one of my favorite things to do with a side salad at dinner is to add, whoo, where are they? Black olives. I have pre-weighed here, two ounces of just black olives. Black olives on top with, I like to pair that with some balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is a free condiment that you can use. And so I'm not going to put this on here right now because I don't want this to get all wet. I'm going to reuse the salad base here to show you some more things. But black olives with some balsamic vinegar is really nice. And that would count for your fat. The olives would count for your fat as well. You can put a little bit of cheese on there if you wanted to for your fat. I'm just taking these olives off so that I can show you a couple more variations of salads here. Um, so let's talk about dressings. Um, as I just showed you, you can use balsamic vinegar as a free condiment on your salad. Um, you can also use one of my personal other favorites is guacamole. These are little two ounce tubs. So that's one fat serving, pre-measured, very convenient. Homemade guacamole, amazing. Guacamole and salsa. I have just a jar here of some locally made salsa that I love. Check your ingredients, especially in salsa. Uh, you will very often find sugar, especially if it's uh, like a fruit salsa, like a peach salsa or a mango salsa, you will definitely find sugar in the ingredients. So be sure to check your labels for sugar in the ingredients when you're buying salsa. Uh, but on top of a salad like this, salsa and guacamole, amazing. In the Bright Line Eating Cookbook, there are a number of really fun dressing recipes in here. Um, let's see, there's a balsamic vinaigrette. You can make a basic balsamic vinaigrette. If, if you have a recipe you already like, that's fine. In a balsamic vinaigrette, you're going to have oil. So that will count for your fat. So just make sure that you're weighing and measuring and accounting for your fat. There's a lemon tahini dressing recipe in the cookbook, a hummus dressing recipe, which this one is basically, it's hummus plus plum vinegar and balsamic vinegar. Now hummus, um, store-bought hummus has um, oil in it. So that's going to, you can count it as a protein, four ounces as a women's protein serving, six ounces as a men's protein serving. You can also count um, hummus with the added fat if you're not making it homemade with no fat in it, um, you can count that hummus as your fat. Um, so this recipe, hummus dressing recipe in the cookbook um, is two ounces of hummus plus a quarter ounce of plum vinegar and a quarter ounce of balsamic vinegar. Um, another member of our team was telling me that she loves to mix balsamic vinegar into some hummus. Several other team members told me that they like to just water down some hummus and use that as a dressing which I'll show you what that looks like in a second. There's a Southwest style vinaigrette, a miso tahini dressing. 
feel like there was a basil lemon dressing. I mean, that looks tasty. So there are a whole bunch of dressing ideas in the Bright Line Eating Cookbook because most of us are eating salad pretty much every day. And I say most of us because you don't have to have salad at dinner. You can replace it with other vegetables if you want to. But I find I like to eat my dinner and then have my salad at the end. And it's just rounds out a meal. I don't know. It's nice. So this right here, I'm going to show you water down some hummus here just to kind of show you how nice and creamy that gets. So it's almost like the consistency of a, like a ranch dressing or something. It's a nice creamy consistency. And again, if you watched our past Brightline Bites videos, you know that the mini whisk is one of my favorite tools. Very handy for mixing up. I just put a little bit of water in here, a little bit of hummus until you get the right consistency. Um, let's see, so that, that was another one that a lot of our team members were like, water down some hummus, put it on your salad. It's an amazing creamy dressing. You can also use store-bought dressings. Uh, you weigh and measure those according to your plan. And be sure to check the ingredients, especially for sugar. Um, okay, so I think, yeah, we've covered dressings. We've covered the weight loss dinner side salad. So now I want to talk about having a salad for lunch. Yes, the salad is on the weight loss plan as part of dinner, but that doesn't mean you can't have a salad for lunch as well. I'm just cleaning this up a little bit so that I can... <laughs> use my salad base because I don't want corn on this next one. And also I don't want to be wasteful and make a bunch of salads that I'm not going to eat. So, all right, let's get back to this base salad here. For lunch, you have a six ounce vegetable serving. That can definitely be a salad for your lunch. And if you're having salad for lunch, you also get a fruit with lunch. So that means that you can be creative and you can put your fruit into your salad, which can be kind of fun to make some creation. So I'm just pulling some of my veggies out of here to get back down to six ounces. And I decided to just take out all the peppers based on what I'm gonna put in here. Okay, six ounces. So here's a six ounce salad that you could use for your lunch because it's six ounces of vegetables. You also get six ounces of fruit. I have an apple here that I've cut up. I believe this is an empire apple. Zero out my scale. And this was one apple. That's only 3.7 ounces. I would probably, I mean, that's a fair amount of apple on this salad. I would probably leave that like that and then also have another 2.3 ounces of fruit. Or you can just say, I've measured this one apple. That's all I'm going to have for lunch. So that's one apple diced up right there. I also have some cheddar cheese here. Let's zero that out. Whoop. Using the AXO scale is so fun. Okay, one ounce of cheddar cheese. There's my fat. So now for my lunch, I have six ounces of veggies, one apple for fruit one ounce of cheese. Now I'm gonna go in there with some whoop, chopped pecans. Okay, I asked this last week and no one chimed in. How do you say it? Is it pecan or pecan? For a woman's weight loss plan, or I'm sorry, for a woman's portion, two ounces of nuts is a protein. So, Almost there, two ounces of nuts. So this right here is a lovely apple pecan cheddar salad. Let's see if you can, oh, I'm gonna drop it if I try and do that. Apple pecan cheddar salad. 
and you could have this for lunch. I would, this is gonna be kind of dry. The apple will add a little bit of juiciness to it. But what I would do is I would go in on top of this with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just to kind of moisten things up a little bit. And that would be really good. This one that I have is um, peach infused white balsamic vinegar, which is interesting. I also have a fig infused. I like the different flavors. Just check for added sugar on those. Um, usually your higher quality balsamic vinegars don't have added sugar. They're just infused with that flavor. Um, yeah, so this, this is your lunch in a bowl right here. Unless, as I said, you want to add a little bit of fruit to make sure you got your full six ounces of fruit, but you've got your six ounces of veggies, your one apple for fruit, your fat in the cheddar cheese, your protein in the pecans. So that is a one way you can uh, have a lunch salad and add your fruit and it would be exciting. So now let's talk about um, having your salad be your dinner. So a dinner salad. So not a side salad alongside the rest of your dinner, but making your whole dinner into a salad. So let's talk about that. Now, when I do this, so this means that you could add your protein, your fat, you've got a lot more veggies to work with. And so you can like throw the whole kitchen sink into this salad. If I'm having a salad for dinner, what I do is I, I use a plate. And what I'm gonna have to do here is, is another awesome feature of the OXO scale. You can pull that display right out so that you can see it clearly. Zero that out. So here's my plate. I'm gonna build my salad right on the plate. There are a lot of really awesome ways you can make your whole dinner, and your whole salad into your dinner and have it be really delicious and really creative. Um, and like, <laughs> now we don't wanna, we're not, getting, we're not getting crazy with our food. We're not getting too sexy with our food. These are basic foods that you're just throwing together onto one plate on top of a salad base. Um, so I don't want you to think that we're getting too, too wild and crazy here with our food. So for the dinner salad, I'm gonna start a new one here. So I'm gonna grab my lettuce and I'm just kind of winging this, so bear with me. Cover up that whole plate with lettuce. So this is, you can see already, a little bit more than what we used with the side salad because when you're, using, when you're using a salad for your whole dinner, you need to account for all of your vegetables for dinner. So when we off plan for dinner, you get eight ounces of salad, six ounces of vegetables. So we're gonna combine that together and say, okay, I want this whole plate to have 14 ounces of vegetables on it. So there's my six ounces of lettuce. We'll start there. I think that should probably be good. Um, now you can get really creative with a dinner salad you can do something like a chef salad. Add some slices of provolone cheese, some slices of deli meat. If you eat meat, you could add um, hard boiled egg, sliced hard boiled egg. You could add chunks of tofu. That would be delicious. I know my mom was telling me that she loves, uh, she'll get the pre-seasoned, like pre-cooked tofu and chop that up into chunks and put that on top of her salad for her protein. What else can we put on salads? Um, you can make a Greek salad. You could use feta cheese for your protein and some Kalamata olives for your fat. And that would be delicious as well. Um, or actually, you know what? I don't. I don't think I want cucumbers on this one because what I was gonna show you is something else. Um, you can, what's really, really yummy, uh, especially in the summer if you're grilling, is to grill a burger and put your burger right on top of your salad. A couple of times I've taken my, you can take your burger, put cheese on top of it for your fat, plunk your hamburger right on top, if you don't eat meat, you can use like a Beyond Burger or there's a number of um, veggie burgers that a lot of our community enjoy that are compliant. Throw your burger right on top of your salad and then as you're eating, you kind of cut it up and it's like, it's like eating a hamburger with a lot of veggies on it without the bun. Really yummy. Very summery if you're good. 
So, uh, oh, there, there's a, a variation of that that I've made in the past. It's one of my favorites. I'll take um, the burger, put it on top of a bed of lettuce, and then uh, slice up like a beef steak tomato and some fresh mozzarella and make like a caprese burger salad. So good. So good. I love um, caprese salad, caprese burgers, you know, with the mozzarella cheese and tomatoes, basil, put some basil on there and a little balsamic drizzle. That's a really tasty salad. Okay, we're at 12 ounces of veggies here. I'm gonna add some peppers. So we're aiming for 14 ounces of veggies here. And what I'm gonna show you is a taco salad. This is a favorite and really good for, <laughs> you gotta get just the right ratio of veggies here. So if you notice, I'm taking things off and putting things in because I'm realizing I've got too many tomatoes because I wanna make a taco salad. So I wanna put some corn and some peppers on this one. If you are feeding multiple people in a household who some eat bright line eating and some don't, taco salad is a great solution because if you want to then have oops, some taco shells, out on the table. You can uh, make all your taco fixings and then whoever wants to put the taco fixings on top of a bed of lettuce can do so. Whoever wants to throw it into a taco shell and have a regular taco can go for it. Um, I have two little kids and husband, so tacos are a really popular dinner in our house because my husband and I can make a taco salad, kids can have tacos, everybody's happy. So, we're gonna do a taco salad here. I've got my 14 ounces of veggies and you can see that's beautiful. That was six ounces of lettuce. And now I have eight ounces of cherry tomatoes, diced bell pepper and corn. So I am going to use black beans for my protein. I have some, I have some seasoned black beans here that I have had simmering on the stove, zero out the scale. So these are warm. So this is a, it's a hearty dinner. I mean, if you think about, if you're concerned about having salad for dinner and that you won't be full enough, you will not have a problem. If you're making a taco salad with beans, it's six ounces for a serving for men and women. You can also make this with grilled chicken. Um, you can make this with some seasoned ground beef. I make my own taco seasoning because a lot of taco seasoning has sugar or cornstarch or other non-compliant stuff in it. So I like to make my own taco seasoning. I keep a canister of that on hand and I'll do some seasoned ground beef, put that on top. So we have our veggies, we have our protein, six ounces of black beans. Now for your fat, you could do two ounces of olives, black olives, that would go great on a taco salad. You could do one ounce of cheese, an ounce of some cotija or some shredded Mexican cheese blend is also really good and that would melt really nicely on top of these beans. But I have here guacamole. So I'm going to go in with this guacamole. And I said in our previous Brightline Bites videos, which if you want to watch those, when you're in the, I have a spoon, when you're in the Brightline or Brightline Eating Official Facebook group, um, underneath the main banner image is a menu. One of those menu items is media. Click on media. You'll have photos, videos, and I think something else. If you click on videos, you'll see all videos in there that any of our community members have uploaded to the group, including our past Brightline Brights videos from the last two weeks. I've done them the last two Thursdays. I forgot to zero out my scale, but I don't really need to worry about it because this is a pre-measured two ounce cup of guacamole that comes that way. I am all about the convenience products. So 
That was another thing that I was going to um, tell you a tip about um, being able to build these salads because you're most of us are eating them every day. I will pre chop up these veggies that I showed you and put them in a glass uh, storage dish in my fridge. And so when it comes time to make a salad at night for dinner, I just pull out, pull out my lettuce, pull out my dish of chopped up veggies and build my salad, just like I'm at a salad bar. It's so convenient. So to prep that food ahead of time, at least for me is well worth it. I know some people when they're in the kitchen and they're chopping veggies and preparing their food, it's really um, almost kind of meditative for a lot of people. I will get that way only if I'm doing like a Sunday afternoon food prep. It's um, very soothing to me to do it that way. And then I have the convenience during the week of having stuff just at the ready, ready to go. Uh, you can do it either way, whatever works for you. But that's just one tip that I have is to keep those veggies up ahead of time in the fridge and ready to roll. You can throw together a salad in no time. Super convenient. So the next ingredient that we have is salsa. As I said, be careful with salsa. Check your ingredients for sugar. Uh, this one that I have here is locally made in the town that I live in. It does have sugar in it, but it's the ninth ingredient out of 12. So it's um, way down in the ingredient list. And it's not, it doesn't taste at all sweet to me or trigger me at all. So two ounces of salsa counts as a condiment. A little bit extra. I'm gonna take out that little tomato. That didn't do it. I know a couple weeks ago, someone was asking, how do you get so precise with the measurements? This is how you do it. <laughs> if you go over, you scoop a little bit back off. Two ounces of salsa. So what we have here is, this is your meal. This is dinner. This is a huge salad. So satisfying. This is a huge salad. It's taking up my whole plate. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> there we go. Our 14 ounces of veggies. That was six ounces of lettuce and eight ounces of other veggies. I've got cherry tomatoes, diced bell pepper, and corn. Six ounces of black beans, or you could do ground beef, grilled chicken, tofu, whatever you want. We have two ounces of salsa. That's our condiment. I have two ounces of guacamole. That's our fat. A little known tip, if your weight loss is moving along at a really good clip, and you've got your program under your belt, you can consider avocado to be part of your vegetables. So you can count the avocado toward your veggies. Um, obviously not on this plate I have here, but as you're building your salad with the veggies, you can count up two, ounce, two ounces of avocado toward your veggies. Then you could add your additional fat. So you could put the olives or the cheese on here. I'm gonna grab one more thing. This is my secret ingredient. I'm making a taco salad, tahin. This is what they put, this is the seasoning. If you've ever had elotes or Mexican street corn, um, this is the seasoning that's all over the outside of it. I do not think that that food is compliant, but in my former days I have had it. So maybe you've seen it or had it in the past. I put a nice hefty sprinkling on there of tahini, and that just adds some nice spice. It's got lime, in it as well as, let me see, chili peppers, sea salt, lime. So it gives a little tart kick, a little spicy kick. So you can take this formula and you can get creative with it. What kind of protein do you wanna throw on there? What kind of fat do you wanna use? Dressing or no dressing? If you're not gonna use dressing, what else are you gonna use on there? Balsamic vinegar, salsa, guacamole, Really, the, the combinations with salads are endless. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Hopefully, you can enjoy a lovely taco salad or some other kind of salad. Tell me what ideas you come up with. Tell me what ideas you have. Um, the Bright Line Eating official Facebook group is wonderful for that, for sharing those ideas so that we can all just help each other to um, make our food, get that automaticity and get that food under our belt so that we can then live the rest of our life with uh, not obsessing about the food all the time. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you all enjoyed this and have a lovely, wonderful, bright day. Bye. See you next week.